न तेरा खुदा कोई और है न मेरा खुदा कोई और है न तेरा खुदा कोई और है न मेरा खुदा कोई और है याहमदिया मुस्लिम जमात established under the precepts of the community of the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam bore one primary purpose to cause islam to prevail over all worldly thoughts and religions as any divinely guided movement the ahmadiyya community would face tremendous opposition in 1934 when a little over 40 years had passed since its inception the community faced grave opposition Despite all possible threats, the task of Ahmadi Muslims was unmoved. The supreme head of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat at the time, Hazrat Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud Ahmad Saab, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, with his foresight, dealt with the situation in an unyielding manner. Huzur launched an extensive scheme under the name of Tehreek-e-Jadeed, a new world order. which would go on to transform the lives of millions around the globe at the launch of this scheme ahmadis numbered a few hundred thousand although apparently not the most affluent community in terms of material resources the greatest asset of the community was a strong bond and unity the scheme whose foundation was based on the philosophy of sacrifice for all promised big but to what extent it would prove successful would only be seen over the course of time what started with humble beginnings now stands on firm foundations strengthened by a team of dedicated workers around the globe under the guidance of khilafat e ahmadiyya na tera khuda koi aur hai न मेरा खुदा कोई और है न तेरा खुदा हजरत मिर्जा बशीरुद्दीन महमूद अहमद रजी अल्लाह तआला अनहु लॉन्च तहरीक ए जदीद एंड आउटलाइंड मेनी टास्क बिफोर द मेंबर्स ऑफ द जमात व्हिच वुड एक्ट एज प्रीरिक्विजिट्स ऑल लीडिंग टुवर्ड्स अ बेटर सोसाइटी ऑन द वन हैंड सिविलाइजेशन वाज एंटरिंग इनटू एन एज ऑफ मटेरियलिज्म बट ऑन द अदर हैंड to setting his own example the leader of the ahmadiyya community strongly encouraged its followers to lead a simple life and uphold the islamic values this virtuous society promoted selflessness and kinship at a time when selfishness was rampant the demands were not only of self reformation but also to spread the pure message of islam people were asked to dedicate any amount of time they had or even their whole lives Eighty years on, and this divine scheme has firm roots in over two hundred countries. Over six thousand mosques and missions have been established worldwide. Over six hundred and fifty missionaries working day and night to propagate the true message of Islam. The Holy Quran has been translated into seventy-one languages, some of which were translated for the very first time by the community. 681 schools have been set up all across Africa. 41 hospitals in the underprivileged parts of the world. Free eye clinics are set up to treat patients with no means of treatment, with limited resources, achieving feats of such magnitude that is unheard of in the modern world. All these projects cannot run without funding. So for a religious community to fund such great schemes, requires a great sacrifice each country presents its own needs and challenges some needs are faced by all whereas others are more specific hence a wide range of ongoing and temporary schemes are being initiated and monitored by the hikk jadid among such needs that are faced around the globe is that of missionaries the quran instructs that there should be a group of people whose job it is to spread the true message of Islam 
and to guide people towards fulfilling the rights of God and man. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat today stands firm in 204 countries and independent states across the world. The task of establishing and spreading the true message of Islam is being carried out by the missionaries that are serving day and night throughout the world. This monumental and ongoing task demands an increasing number of such devoted people. Therefore, during the fifth Khilafat of the Promised Messiah under the auspices of Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, there are many Jamiat across the world preparing missionaries to serve mankind. Every year, missionaries graduate from the many Jamiat and are allocated in various regions of the world. The running of these missionary training colleges and then catering for the many missionaries who, after graduating, serve throughout the globe, falls under the very scheme of Tehrik Jadid. Ye jo rahe haq ki hai daawate Nai ho rahi hai jo bayate Ye jo rahe haq ki hai daawate Nai ho rahi hai jo बैयते ये खिलाफतों की बहार है ये रुखे हवा कोई और है ये खिलाफतों की बहार है ये रुखे Hava koi aur hai Na tera khuda koi aur Where the missionaries play an important role in spreading the true message of Islam, mosques also play a pivotal role. Mosques have been the beacons spreading the light of Islam since the time of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Ahmadiyya community has upheld this and has reached out to the corners of the world in order to rekindle the light of Islam. Mosques have been built across the globe, in the East and the West, in a society that has moved away from religion and considers Islam to be a threat to the peace of their societies. The establishment of a mosque dispels such false notions and people soon come to realize the peaceful teachings of Islam. Under the scheme of Tahrik al-Jadid, Mosques have been built in places that have either never seen a mosque or had long forgotten the glorious Islamic past. In Spain, after a long interval, it was the Ahmadiyya community who under this divine scheme built the first mosque after almost 500 years. From erecting mosques in the once Islamic empire of Spain to illuminating Islam through mosques in Africa, Asia and across the globe, with over 6,000 mosques and mission houses worldwide, Jamaat Ahmadiyya has worked tirelessly to spread the message of Islam. Ye hai rabt asl se asl ka Nahi khatm sil sila basl ka Jo gira hai shakh se gul kahin khila koi aur hai जो गिरा है शाख से गुल कहीं तो वहीं किला कोई और है न तेरा खुदा कोई और है न मेरा खुदा कोई और है 
We live in an era that was prophesied to be an era of spreading Islam with the help of books. Hence we find the prophecy stated in the Holy Quran regarding our time and when the books are spread abroad. In this era books are being printed and published like never before. The opponents of Islam have utilized this and have made attack after attack upon Islam and its holy founder. In such circumstances, it demanded that great efforts be made in the defense of Islam. Under Tariq al-Jadid, many printing presses around the globe have been established, which are regularly printing and publishing thousands of books and pamphlets for the defense and propagation of Islam. One of the major objectives and projects has been to translate and publish the Holy Qur'an in as many languages as possible, and therefore the Holy Qur'an has now been translated and published into more than 70 languages. Many important books dealing with the situations and demands of the time are regularly published in their thousands, not only for the members of the community, but for the public in general. The Ahmadiyya community strongly believes that by spreading the right message and bringing awareness, all the major issues of the world can be rightly dealt with. To understand the message, education holds primary importance and Tahrik al-Jadid greatly emphasizes on providing education to humanity at large, especially in underprivileged countries, without any distinction of religion. In underprivileged countries, people lack resources to send their children to acquire education. Schools are too few and far apart and often too expensive for the children from poor backgrounds. Lack of proper schooling facilities and unequal opportunity for girls often deprives children from their right to education. Any society that wishes to advance in the right direction requires a sound education system. Therefore, the Holy Prophet made it incumbent upon both girls and boys to acquire education. One of Tariq al-Jadid's objectives has been to provide excellent education in areas where they need such facilities. 681 schools have been built across Africa, which have provided excellent education to both boys and girls. Sitting arrangements, uniforms, qualified teaching staff, correct discipline, libraries, labs and moral training provide excellent opportunities for students to make a bright future for themselves and their society. These schools are playing a very important role in the lives of hundreds of thousands of children. In developed countries, healthcare is often free and easily accessible. However, in underprivileged countries, where the need is the greatest, the importance cannot be overlooked. Time and again, people suffer great losses either because of the lack of healthcare facilities or due to the high costs of treatment. Islam encourages every individual to care for each other's well-being, regardless of belief, ethnicity or nationality. For this reason, the Ahmadiyya community has managed to provide cheap and often free healthcare facilities in the remotest of places and has made great efforts to help those in need. Over 40 hospitals have been built in Africa alone, which have qualified doctors and nurses and excellent facilities and provide health care and medication to the impoverished. In Pakistan, despite the continuous opposition, the community has built the Fazli Umar Hospital and the Tahir Heart Institute. They are equipped with state-of-the-art facilities and provide treatment to all without any prejudice. Under Tariq al-Jadid, several other schemes have also been initiated which indirectly help the propagation of the true message of Islam. Many places in underdeveloped countries which lacked fundamental necessities like food, water and electricity have been provided through charitable works under the IAAAE and Humanity First. All of these efforts are part of the blessed scheme which was started by Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II Anhu, 
at a time when the community was going through very difficult times. When Muslims have a growth of the community, بلند بانگ دعوے کر رہا تھا حضرت مسلم آؤت رضی اللہ عنہ نے احمدیت یعنی حقیقی اسلام کو دنیا میں پھیلانے کے لیے ایک تحریک کا اعلان کیا جس پر احباب جماعت نے بچوں عورتوں مردوں نے لبیک کا اور لبیک کہتے ہوئے قربانیوں کی مثالیں قائم کیں اور آج ہم دنیا میں تحریک جدید کے پھل لگے ہوئے دیکھ رہے ہیں بلکہ دنیا میں اللہ تعالیٰ کے فضل سے احمدیت کے پھلدار درخت بلکہ پھلوں سے لدے ہوئے درخت لگے ہوئے دیکھ رہے ہیں ان قربانیوں کے نتیجے میں حضرت مسلم آؤت کا تحریک جدید کے جاری کرنے کا مقصد یہی تھا کہ مبلغین بھی تیار ہوں جو بیرونی ملکوں میں جائیں وہاں مشن کھولے جائیں مسجدیں تعمیر کی جائیں اور اسلام اور احمدیت کے پیغام کو دنیا میں پھیلایا جائے ہمارے مقصد تو تبھی پورے ہوں گے جب ہم ہر شہر میں ہر قصبے میں اور ہر گاؤں میں خدا واحد واحد کا نام بلند کرنے کے لیے مسجد تعمیر کریں گے اور اس کو پھر خالصتاً خدا واحد کی the scheme that was initiated under Khilafat Ahmadiyya is strengthening with every passing day. Where it is spreading the message of Islam Ahmadiyya around the globe, it is also fulfilling the rights of the creation of God. Tehreek e Jadid has no doubt been a lifeline to millions across the globe. It has and continues to take and propagate the message of Islam and Ahmadiyyat to the ends of the world. This divine institution was the seed that has borne fruits that can be seen prospering under the divine institution of Khilafat. <laughs> کہ میرا امام ہے رو برو کسی اور کی نہیں جست جو کہ میرا امام ہے رو برو کہو ایسا ہو سو جمال قد سانیا کوئی اور ہے کہو ایسا ہو سنو جمال قدرتی سانیا کوئی اور ہے یہ صدی خلافت جاریا کہ دوام کا ہے شاریا یہ صدی خلافت جاریا کہ دوام کا ہے شاریا نئے دوستوں کو نوید ہو کہ یہ سلسلہ کوئی اور ہے نئے دوستوں کو نوید ہو کہ یہ سلسلہ کوئی اور ہے